Hi S2, welcome back to German. This week we're going to be finishing off evening routine. So if you did the homework last week, well done. Your teacher will have given you feedback on show my homework. I have attached the answers here for you to have a look at them. So they're in German and in English. So if you want to pause the video, maybe have a look through them and see how you got on. Okay, so the starter and the challenge, it is to revise over the vocab that we learned last week. So your starter translating five sentences into English and your challenge, you have to rearrange the words um, to make a sentence. So remember to check your notes from the last lesson and they will help you. Pause the video whilst you do the starter and the challenge and then we'll come back and look at the answers. Okay, hope you got on okay. So, ich sehe fern is I watch TV. Ich mache Hausaufgaben is I do my homework. Ich führe den Hund aus, I walk the dog. Ich treffe mich mit Freunden, I meet with my friends. And um halb sieben koche ich, at half six I cook. So there's the answers there. So give yourself a mark out of five for that. The challenge, you had to rearrange the words and they can go in either two ways. So you can put the time at the start of the sentence. So um halb elf gehe ich ins Bett. Remember, if you put time at the start, the verb is the next, the second idea. Or you could say ich gehe um halb elf ins Bett. Perfect. Okay, so we're revising over routine phrases. So bronze level, I'll be able to recognize evening routine phrases. Silver, I'll be able to use separable verbs and time in a sentence. This is something that we touched on last week and we'll do a bit more work on today. And gold, I'll be able to use what I have learned to complete the homework tasks. Two very short homework tasks at the end and I'll explain them a bit um, later. Okay, so the first activity I would like you to do is on the left, you have got eight sentences in German and they are the different evening routine phrases. And on the right, you've got um, A to H in photos. And quite simply, you're just matching up the phrase to the photo. So pause the video and then we'll come back and look at the answers. Remember, you can check your notes from last week also. Okay, hope you got on okay. So we have uh, Ich koche is I cook. Ich spiele Sport is I play sport. Ich mache Hausaufgaben, I do homework. Ich treffe mich mit Freunden, I meet with my friends. Ich höre Musik, I listen to music. Ich gehe ins Bett, I go to bed. Ich führe den Hund aus, I walk the dog. And ich sehe fern is I watch TV. So give yourself a mark out of eight for them. If there are any you weren't too sure on, make sure you write them down so that you can remember them for next time. Okay, so reflexive verbs are verbs that describe something that you do to yourself. So you wash yourself, you shower yourself, you dress yourself. So in German, if you're looking for these verbs in the dictionary, they will always have this word sich in front of them. So, zik duschen, zik waschen, that's how you'll see them in the dictionary. This word zik is a reflexive pronoun. It means him or herself, and it changes depending on who is talking, and the verb ending will also change. So, I'll explain that in the next slide. So, the reflexive pronouns are the words in blue. So, we have mich, which is myself. Dich, which is yourself, and sich, which is himself or herself. So if we take the top row of the grid, ich dusche mich is I shower myself. Du duscht dich, you shower yourself. Er duscht sich, he showers himself. Or sie duscht sich, she showers herself. So with these reflexive verbs, you always need to have the reflexive pronoun after the verb. So the, either the mich, dich or sich. So a good idea would be to pause the video and copy this grid into your jotter because you'll need to know what these pronouns are for the next few tasks. If you were in Miss Cathcart's S1 class, we would have looked at reflexive pronouns already but there's no harm in getting the grid copy down again to make sure that you've remembered it.
Okay, activity two, we're looking at reflexive verbs and separable verbs. So part A, you're filling in the gaps. So that's what we just looked at, the reflexive pronouns, so like the mich, the dich, and the zich. So make sure you use your grid for that. B, you have to match up the separable verbs. So A, B, and C, it's the ich sentence. One, two, and three, it's the full verb that you would find in the dictionary. You have to match them up. Part C, you have to fill in the gap with the missing word. I put the words at the bottom for to help you. So it's, you're looking at the words and finding which one goes in which sentence. Challenge as well, if you want to try it, is to translate the sentences in C. So pause the video, take a few minutes, remember to check your notes over, and then we'll look at the answers. Okay, ich dusche mich. Because you're talking about yourself, so myself, it'd be mich. Du wascht dich. Er zieht sich an. He gets dressed. Part B, you have to match up the verbs. So we have ich stehe auf is from the verb aufstehen. Ich wache auf is from the verb aufwachen. And ich sehe mich an is from the verb sich ansehen. And part C, ich sehe um halb zehn fern. Number two, um Vettel wo elf führe ich den Hund aus. Ich wasche mich um sieben Uhr. And if you try the challenge, I watch TV at half nine, I walk the dog at 10.45 and I get washed at seven. So give yourself a mark out of nine if you did all three tasks and out of 12 if you did the challenge as well. So hopefully that makes it a bit more clear what a reflexive verb is and what a separable verb is. Time. We looked at time at the very beginning of this school topic. So I've just put everything that's kind of the most important information on time on this slide. So I'll talk through it very quickly. And then maybe if you have a printer at home, you could print it off from the PowerPoint or you could save a photo of it onto your phone so that you know how to form time when you're talking about it in German. So if you want to talk about the exact time, you're saying S ist, then the number, Uhr, and then the number. So for example, if I wanted to say it's 5.02, es ist 5 Uhr zwei. If you're talking about half past, it's a bit more complicated. Germans talk about the hour to come and not the hour you're currently in. So for example, half five, half past five in English, in German, it would actually be Halb sex, literally half hour to six. Quarter past and quarter two. The word for quarter is Viertel. So you might recognize that the word Vier is at the start for four. So that will help you to remember. Nach means past and Vor means two. So quarter past three, es ist Viertel nach drei. Quarter to nine, es ist Viertel wo neun. If you wanted to use, for example, 20 to 11, we know that the word two is wo, so you could say es ist 20 wo elf, 20 to 11. So activity three, we're using time in a sentence. There are four sentences in German. At the end of each sentence in brackets, you have the time in English. So you have to put the time into German and then fill in the gap with it. If you think you might need a little bit more help on writing the time, keep listening. If you think you're fine, then you can pause the video and do the task and the challenge. Okay, so if you want some more help with the time, I've given you a word box and it's got four time phrases. They're not in order, so you're still going to have to figure out which time matches which. So remember, use your notes, use a slide from before to help you. And then you can fill in the gaps of that and then try the challenge. Okay, on to the answers. So, Nummer eins. It was, um halb acht zeh ich mich in meinem Zimmer an. Nummer zwei, ich gehe um zehn vor acht zur Schule. Nummer drei, 
So literally at 10 to 8. Ich koche um Vettel vor 6 in der Küche. Quarter to 6. Um 8 Uhr mache ich Hausaufgaben im Wohnzimmer. So, well done if you got those correct. If you tried the challenge, here are your answers as well. At 7.30, I get dressed in my room. Remember, Germans talk about the hour to come, so it'd be um halb acht. I go to school at 7.50 was number two. Number three, I cook at 5.45 in the kitchen. And number four, at eight, I do homework in the living room. Im Wohnzimmer is the living room. Okay, perfect. That is the end of the lesson. So our bronze level, you're able to recognize evening routine phrases. Silver level, you're able to use separable verbs and time in a sentence. And gold level, use what I have learned to complete the homework task. So you should all have been able to achieve bronze and silver, and then you'll be able to achieve gold once you've completed the homework tasks. So your homework to submit, all the instructions and the tasks are on the PDF document on Show My Homework. You have two tasks to complete and submit on Show My Homework. And in order to do these tasks, you need to watch the video. So everything's explained for you. I'm showing you an image from the video and there are German and English subtitles. So please don't be put off by it if you think you won't be able to understand because it has the German and English subtitles. There's also an extension task, a Kahoot challenge, and that will help you to revise over time phrases, separable verbs and daily routine. But only do this if you have submitted the two tasks above. I think before some people were doing the Kahoot challenge and not the homework tasks. So it's really important that you do your homework tasks. And then if you have time and want to, then you can do the Kahoot challenge.